Hi everyone, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I am coming to you with hashtag What's Up Wednesday. This is hosted by T. Joe Creates. I will have her link below. Um, and I'm just coming to you with a little update. I haven't been face to face with you in quite a while, so I figured I'd, you know, show you that I'm still here. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to go over a few books that I've been reading. Um, I finished quite a bit. Um, my book club um, has um, this contest that we do monthly and it's tic-tac-toe. So I'm happy to say that I actually filled the card this month. So I was excited about that. But otherwise, I just have um, one thing I wanted to show you guys. I um, purchased this from amazon.com dot ca i should say and it's 12 by 12 white uh cardstock now i thought it was a little thin but then i compared it to the other 65 cardstock that i have and it's pretty much the same so it's um i'm just used to working with 110 cardstock so i have a hard time anyways these were on for 11 dollars and some odd cents and it's for 70 of them so it is cheaper than Michael's, and I think it's a good deal. So I picked up a couple of these um, because I like uh, the 12 by 12, especially in the neutrals, so I can like wrap albums if I want or what have you. Um, my artisan journal I'm doing this week, so I'm working on that as well. Um, I have something started and I'm not happy with it, so I'm gonna change it up. Um, I'm never, I, I'm never very happy with these things. <laughs> I never think I do well enough, so yeah, they have to get Mario approved sometimes. Um, okay, so for books, um, I'll just pick out a few that I that um, interested me. Interested me. I don't know. I'm not thinking, I guess. Um, first of all, I wanted to touch on uh, one of them. It is What She Left Behind by Ellen Marie um, Wiseman. And this is, wow, this is a, 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 this actually was recommended by Life with Patty. I'll put her link below as well. And I gave it a, a rating of four out of five. And, um, it's very tragic and what's interesting is that they have a website it, it was for um, it's it, it's about a lady in, in um, oh I forget what it is 20s 30s I forget but anyways um, what happened is she was um, upset with her parents and they ended up putting her in uh, mental institution and from there she had experiences that were horrible basically and then you have the modern um, teenager who is learning about this and she wants to know what happened to this um, lady and what's interesting is they do they do mention uh, in the book about um, going through suitcases from the Willard um, uh, uh, institution, and there's actually a website called Willard Suitcases Shelter com, and it's all the suitcases that were left behind by by people that that were in that um, facility. And I find it very haunting and amazing and stuff to go through what they left in there, what they decided they needed to bring to the institution. So I'll put that below. It is amazing seeing, and this is true. This is real suitcases that they left behind. And um, the favorite quote, quote from it, animals are innocent. People are, well, they're not in innocent. Animals are better than humans. I like that quote. The other one I did, and it's a 4.5 out of 5, was called Birth Road. 
and it's by Michelle Wembolt. And it's about a lady um, that's from, I think she's from Truro, Nova Scotia in Atlanta, Canada. And it follows her up until the point where she has her own child and it walks through what she need, what she's gone, goes through as a child and as a, a young adult, um, getting to that point. And it's, it's a little bit sad. Well, it's a lot sad. Um, and it goes through like even her, her marriage and stuff. It is based on a, uh, a real woman, but a lot of it is fiction as well. So they have even a picture of the lady in the back that it's based on. And I thought it was very interesting. They even used most of the names that she, of her family and things like that. So it goes through the struggle she has with her mother, um, the poverty that she has to live in, the struggles with her alcoholic father, um, and so on, so on, so on. So, yeah, it was very, um, I did read Ghost Set the Watchman by Harper Lee. That was the, um, the extension of, um, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. And it was very well done. I really enjoyed it, but at the same time, it deals with heavy subjects as well, so... Let me try to get you like something that's not heavy, <laughs> that heavy anyways. <laughs> um, the girl who fell uh, beneath the sea was good. Um, it was a 4.5 for me. And what happens is she sacrifices herself to the sea god um, in order to save her brother's girlfriend that is going to be sacrificed and what they do annually is sacrifice and try to calm the the um sea god well she goes down um into the sea and she's brought to this place and she's connected to the um sea god but something is not right and she gets taken into this um this kind of world be between the living and the uh, and the dead, and she and her friends um, need to do some things while they're there. Um, and it wasn't predictable at all, which I liked. And um, I didn't. It, it it turns into a love story, of course. So this all is, it seems like it's. <laughs> It's kind of, it's kind of dark, but it is not. It is, it is a really, um, going into a, a lot of the, um, what her tribal people felt about, um, the, their gods and, uh, it has the gods helping her to try and help the sea god basically. And it ends up in the end, um, a love story. I won't tell you whether it's with the sea god or not. I won't. And um, yeah, it's it's very, it's a, a nice little book. Um, and I like this quote. Stories are both an escape from the truths of the world and the only way to see them clearly. So, and um, I also read T.J. Klune is, is an author I will read all day. He is fantastic. And he did The Lives of Puppets. Um, I only gave him a 4.5 on this, but some people would say that's excellent. Um, this is about... What I like about um, T.J. Klune is he can take, like, a character that you just think is going to be, like, eh, and they become the main part of the story. And he's so amazing when he's developing his scenery and his characters and their all their personalities coming out and i just really enjoy this one this one actually is about like it has robots um this kid has brought back to life basically so like there's a vacuum cleaner and he talks and everything else and there's um an electronic nurse 
she's hilarious. It's, uh, it's Nurse Ratched, and she's she's hilarious. And um, yeah, and there's um, Hap, and he's the last one, and he's um, more of a humanoid um, robot. And uh, yeah, it, it, and they had this quote: "If at first you don't succeed, run as fast as you can." <laughs> I thought that was cute and stuff like that. So, like I said, I read uh, a lot of books. Um, I will put my Goodreads uh, um, profile below if anybody's interested in following my Emmy on Goodreads. Goodreads, if you don't know what it is, it's like a Facebook for book nerds, basically. You know, so pretty much the same thing. You can talk back and forth, send each other stuff, stuff like that, so... Anyways, other than that, I am doing a little sewing project when Che's not on my sewing table. And uh, I can't, I can't take him off it. I can't. It's, I've tried, I've tried, but I just can't. He's so darn cute that you just can't, can't, yeah. I love him too much, I guess. And um, I got new glasses. Oh, I forgot about those. And got them on Zenny's, uh, Zenny's Canada. And um, I really liked them. It took me about an hour to learn, like, to make sure I knew how, how to order them. Like, what I was looking for, what sizing was, and stuff like this. It took me about an hour. I read, like, a YouTube, watched a YouTube video on it, and then read a few things and i saved like 300 bucks ordering them online compared to ordering them at one of those kiosk things that are in with the the um optometrists so i um i'm pretty happy with them i i think they fit well as soon as i put them on they fit well didn't need any adjusting which is shocking to me and the best part is that you can upload photos and see what the glasses would look like on you um so i really liked that aspect of it as well um now there's other eye places it's just i went with this because there's a, a gentleman that mario watches for he re, he talks about older um bands and stuff like this and music and and all that jazz and he's always sponsored by zenny and he had a coupon code um in it but it didn't fit for canada but it, but i found the canadian one um and he mario likes him and he he thinks he can was good and we were looking at his glasses and then we thought he was good to, um character so we tried it and um with the i think it was spring ca 24 or something like this with that i got 14 dollars off so that's not bad at all um so i got the glasses for under 100 so i was really really happy and they're progressives and i have like if you see it you probably see the pink um, I have like, um, a thing on it that helps with my, um, with the fibromyalgia I've developed, um, really, really sensitive eyes. Um, so it's me like having a bright and brighter light in my eyes. It kind of, you know, it's like a ice pick going in. Um, so these will darken compared to things and they darken really well outside, not as dark as my older glasses were because my older glasses were transition. These are actually, they're not transition. They're for adjusting the light that's going into my eyes. So, um, they're not really just for outside and I really like them. Got my blue light filter on them. Again, with the fibromyalgia, I have something that's thin in my eye or something. And um, I developed a few years ago having problems with blue light um, or blinking lights. They, they actually make me quite nauseated. And the blue light is like that piercing, 
pain. So um, if you look at my tablet at night, um, especially, um, Mario just sees dark. I see it quite like very well, but he sees it very dark. Same with my laptop. I actually have things that bring them down past factory settings for the for the um, the 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 intensity of light and and I always have the, like, like a blue light filter at night, especially um, just to calm my eyes down. So that's me blabbering for a long time. So, anyways. I am going to let you guys go. I am watching videos like Missy, um, Ma Thelma, uh, uh, Lady Di, um, Gina. I'm I'm re I'm really watching them all. I am. I just it's on the TV and I never seem to get back to. So I'm gonna start saying, okay, you can't watch the, if you're gonna watch the videos watch them on your tablet so I don't know anyways I've got book club in about a half an hour so I'll finish my project off and uh, I think I'll join that at least for the first uh, first meeting we have a meeting we read for a bit and then we have another meeting so at least for the first meeting I will join in all right you guys thanks bye